Hi, in this video what I'm going to have a look at are the templates that the university supplies for students who are preparing a thesis and actually a dissertation is possible using these templates as well. Um, the templates are available for download, we'll leave a link in the uh, materials for you um, and when you download and unzip them you'll be left with a folder here called complete templates. Just want to show you how the complete templates folder is organised and how you would use it. So if I double click into the complete templates folder, you'll see that we have three subfolders in there. One called customised numbering, one called numbered and one called unnumbered. Um, the folder that you'll use de will depend on the numbering system that you want for your chapters and your major headings within your thesis. Um, if you would like your numbers to be simply 1, 1.1, 1 1.1.1, 1 .1 etc, then you would use the numbered folder. If you would like the words chapter one to be uh, there at the beginning of your chapters, you would use the folder marked customized numbering. And if you don't want numbering at all for your chapters and your major headings, you would choose unnumbered. You would also use that option if you were planning to produce a customized numbering system of your own. Um, so say for instance, I wanted to use the, um, the, the word chapter at the beginning of all my chapters, then I would open up the customized numbering folder. Now inside there we have two templates, uh, one called Thesis 1 and one called Thesis 2. Now I suppose I should explain what a template is. When we're working with Word, um, normally when we open up a brand new blank document um, and we start typing, we're kind of offered the options that Microsoft supplied us um, for what a blank document should look like. Now unfortunately what Microsoft supplies as standard with Microsoft Word isn't isn't suitable, it doesn't meet the guidelines that the university provides for someone preparing a thesis or a dissertation. So what we've done instead is we've built these new templates and when you open them up you'll be faced with a kind of prototype, a, a, a document which meets the university guidelines. And it will meet the university guidelines in lots of different ways. Um, it will meet the guidelines in terms of what the page margins should look like. Um, it will meet the university guidelines in terms of um, what headings, what, what um, major sections of a thesis should be and, and in, in the deep what the order. So you'll start with, for instance, the title, then the abstract. Um, it will cover all of that. But our templates will also include um, pre-programmed styles. Now we're going to cover styles properly in a different, uh, on a different day, in a different video. Um, but those styles are going to create, are, are going to adjust how the text looks, how the headings look how all the components of your document appear um, and that's all built into our template too. To put it simply, if you use our templates the way they were designed to be used, then your thesis is going to look like it should do to meet our guidelines. It's as easy as that. So having a look inside this customised numbering folder, you can see we've actually not got one template but we've got two. We've got one called Thesis 1 and one called Thesis 2. The Thesis 2 template is the one that you're going to use when you sit down to write a chapter. I say a chapter, it could be a chapter or it could be when you sit down to write your abstract or when you sit down to write your acknowledgements. Um, you would use that for writing a section of the thesis or dissertation. If I double click to open it, you'll see what it does is it opens up Microsoft Word and it opens up what appears to be just a blank document. Um, but that blank document already has, for instance, uh, the two and a half centimeter um, a, a gutter, the 1.5 centimeter left and right margin, the 1.8 centimeter top and bottom margin. Um, that's what the guidelines are telling us our margin should look like, and they're already built into our template. So when I'm sitting down to write a chapter, I'm just going to write down, I'm going to start typing into this. And, um, and the template is going to do all the formatting for me. Um, it's going to make sure that this chapter looks exactly the way that a chapter should do to meet our guidelines. So that's the first of our templates, or the second of our templates, if you like. The other one which is included in that folder is called Thesis 1. And the Thesis 1 template there, um, you use that at the very end of the writing process. If I double click on that to open it, you can see that that is already programmed with sections already in place for your abstract, 
for your table of contents, for your list of tables, for your lists of figures. So this is the sort of um, the empty document, which at the very end of the writing process, you're going to copy all your chapters into, you're going to copy your abstract into. Uh, this will make the complete thesis for you. More of that later on.